the sun, a source of light, warmth, and life itself. It plays a pivotal role in the continued existence of Earth and its inhabitants. Yet despite its billion years of age, the full extent of the sun's influence on our planet remains a mystery. The chaotic nature of its makeup can harm as much as it protects. A ball of raging fire and magnetic energy, the sun is constantly in turmoil, expelling energy in the form of solar flares, storms, and significant releases known as coronal mass ejections. It is well documented that these releases have an impact on the Earth, causing environmental changes, system interruptions, and beyond. Scientists theorize that if such an event were to occur, the effects of the solar storm would have much more far-reaching, damaging, and deadly consequences. party Saturday dude my mom she checked my phone again again I don't think I can go she saw the message she's not letting me go God, she's so lame I know it's not fair hey what did I tell you kids about partying out here we're not even partying I don't want to hear it I want you to clean all this up and get out of here what are you a mall cop dispatch it's all good it's just a bunch of kids. I'm 20. Dispatch, hello? Hmm. Get a hustle on, huh? In the future, don't treat private property like your personal playground. What's your issue? Ow, ow. <laughs> what? Was it me? Hmm. I think it's over. What was that? USGS confirmed that at 3.05 p.m. Pacific Standard Time yesterday, an earthquake of 6.2 magnitude struck the Northern California areas. Though unconfirmed at the time, unusual volcanic activity has been reported in the area as well. Though whether it is linked to the earthquake or not remains to be seen. Scientific authorities maintain that it is only a coincidence that a major CME event was observed on the sun. If the numbers out of the NCEI are correct, then that volcanic eruption up north is just the beginning. The NOAA ratings are off the chart. We have extremely high H alpha emissions and X-ray radiation coming in in intense numbers. Meredith, you just need to take a second and gather yourself. <sighs> Which reminds me, I should take the radiation index. Look, you know that I'm in agreement with you. A solar superstorm of this magnitude has never been recorded in the whole of human history. There are things yet that we don't know. True. But we do know that solar flares cause environmental disturbances. And we're not just talking about flares here. We're also talking about coronal mass ejections, OK? CMEs. And if there's a strong enough sequence of CMEs, the resultant magnetic plasma could cause unprecedented disturbances, OK? Earthquakes, flooding, volcanic eruptions, possibly more, and, and maybe all at once. OK, a lot of lives are on the line here. And the mayor needs this data immediately. 
Look, Meredith, you're a good scientist, and your dissertation on CMEs provides strong theories. But you and I both know that untested research on a page, it's just not enough. These are big allegations, and the government will respond to clout. If you could just wait for Dr. Rigney to get here from the university, then maybe... We could be on the verge of an apocalyptic event, okay? An ELE, and you want to wait on someone with tenure. We could start looking like World War III out there and soon, and you know I'm right. Mom? Brand, I gotta go. Meredith, wait. Is, is something bad happening? No, just some colleagues and I are concerned about some things that are happening, but we're handling it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Kirby? Oh. Kirby, what did you do with the toaster? What's going on? I was gonna make toast, but it looks like Kirby got here first. Kirby. Kirby! What? Take off your video game and pay attention. Mom, I've told you a hundred times it's not a video game. It's called a flight simulator. Okay, whatever. Why did you take apart the toaster? Well, it had a hum. I don't have time for this today. Would you put it back together, please? Your father needs toast. Morning. Good morning. Did you get any sleep last night? No, not really. The solar flare situation isn't going anywhere. This is really serious, too. We need to really think about the safety of other people and the safety of our own family. I set up a meeting with the mayor this morning, and I'm hoping she sounds the alarm. Do you think she'll listen? Well, she has to. I mean, if a precursor flare can cause a volcanic eruption, just imagine what a major solar event will do, and I'm talking in the next few days. Well, in that case, I think we'll need more than the mayor's help. I should call Cook. Oh, I was afraid you would say that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm not excited about it either, but... I'm not in the military anymore. I can't pull rank. Even though him and I didn't part on the best of terms, if he can help, we have to explore that option. I guess you're right. You're right. Thank you. No, of course. It's the least I could do if it's going to be as bad as you think. <laughs> yeah. So where do we evacuate to? I say the caves. The caves? Yeah. The northern caves from our hike last summer? Yes. Exactly those, the natural cave formations up in the mountain range just north of the city above the forest. And um, if you'll remember from our trip, they also house the abandoned military bunker built in World War II just in case there was a mainland attack. So the safety of the bunker combined with the elevation of the cave, that would save us from any type of flooding. And they're also embedded in the rock, which has survived centuries on a fault line. It's really the perfect place. Yeah, and if the bunkers are military, Cook could definitely be an asset. Okay. Well, I think that we should make it our family evacuation plan that if anything starts to look bad, we head straight for the caves. You guys heard her. If that's what we have to do, that's what we do. Yeah, and hopefully other people will listen to me and we can save some other families too. What is it? It's just the office, usual mumbo jumbo. You know, if you want me to blow this off, I can do that. No, actually, I think that we should all just go about our normal day. You sure? Yeah. I mean, despite the eruption up north, the CMEs are probably still building and it's gonna take them a while before they flare. So, you know, and there's always a chance. I could be wrong. <laughs> do you think that it could all just be a mistake and blow over? I hope so, baby. I really hope so. You know what, why don't I take you over to the Jensen's today and you just enjoy the afternoon with your friend? Yeah? God. Okay, I need to get to work before this family has problems of a different kind. Okay. Plus, if I leave now, I can still get my drive through drive through Hey, you said for us to go about our day and I'm still getting my breakfast. Besides, what's the Fisher family motto? Never give up! Never give up! That's right. Maybe it'll blow over. Maybe. That's okay, Mom. I believe in you. I have faith in science. Me too, Kirby. Me too. 
I just hope my faith is misplaced this time. Look, Sullivan, I can't be taking calls from civilians. I've got a unit to run. I'm not exactly thrilled about this either, Cook, but if you could just put aside our personal issues for a moment, this is a matter of utmost importance. Personal issues? There are no personal issues, Fisher. It's a soldier's prerogative to forgive and forget, and I've chosen to do neither. But what's between you and me is ancient history. Meredith made her choice, and I've moved on. Yeah? If that's true, why'd you try to make a move on my wife last summer when we saw you? All right, goodbye, Fisher. No, wait. No, no. Cook! Cook! Give me one reason why I should. You forfeited your rights to my attention when you left the military for civilian life. Because a lot of lives could be in danger. You got two minutes. So I'm taking Sarah over to the Jensen's and then I'm headed to City Hall. You can come with me if you'd like. Yeah, sounds like a thrill a minute, but I'm actually going over to Jared's to play video games for a bit. And? And then finish fixing the toaster? Good answer. All right, stay in the neighborhood just in case, okay? And yeah. stay out of trouble. Yeah, me too. Look, Sullivan, we're well aware of the situation upstate. We've consulted with several army scientists and they've assured us that there's no cause for concern. Yeah, I know how the brass is thinking, Cook. But Meredith truly believes this is a clear and present danger. And if she's right, a lot of lives could be on the line. Look, my wife's not some conspiracy nut. She's a vetted scientist and I believe her. You used to, too. That's not fair. Sullivan, you know it. Look, right now, my superiors don't see a cause for concern. My hands are tied on this and you know that. Cook, look, look. Don't make this personal. I'm not. And I suggest that you do the same. Look, in the meantime, I'll place a call to FEMA and the NSA to see if they can investigate further. But if they don't see that there's a cause for concern, then my involvement ends there. Thank you, Cook, for even taking the time. I'm sorry, Sullivan. Me too. Let's go. Please open the bag. Go ahead. Excuse me, may I help you? I'm looking for the mayor's office. I have an appointment with her today. I'm Patricia, I'm the mayor's assistant. Oh good. You said you have uh, an appointment? Yes, uh, my name is Meredith Fisher. The scientist. Yes, that's me. Yeah. Unfortunately, the mayor stepped out, so she's not in her office at the moment. What, wait, when will she be back? This is a very important. I don't know what time she will be back, ma'am. I don't think you understand. This is a very urgent matter. We are literally talking about life or death here. If you're planning on waiting for the mayor, I'm gonna need you to take a seat over here. I gotta know this audit and shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm still over. Yeah, 
one day shipping. Yeah. One day shipping. Morning, Natalie. Sure. Oh, hi, Solomon. How are you? Good. By the way, Stevenson's going crazy today. Of course he is. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Did you feel that? Try. Okay? Right. We gotta try. The building's unstable. You can't stay here. I can't. I can't. Come with me. I got you. I love it. Come on. Help me. Come on. Diaz, were you able to get fish on the line? Negative, sir. Communications are down. The earthquake must have taken out the towers. Damn it. Let's get all ground transports loaded up and let's move. Transports deployed. No can do, sir. Something's wrong with the starter. She won't turn over. Of course. As if anything else could go wrong today. You can always deploy the choppers. Not with that brewing, we can't. It's just a little thunder, sir. That wasn't thunder. Stop 
this bleed. <laughs> Let's pull the glass out. I try to hold steel for me. Okay. One more. On three. One, two. Hey. Got it. Okay. Hand. Pressure. What was that? Learned this first aid skills when you were overseas? Actually, uh, lifeguard training when I was 16. You wouldn't believe how many diving board accidents there are. <laughs> Military just put my skills to good use. Well, regardless, thank you. She's, she's at a friend's house. Oh, you should go get her. Huh? Your daughter. You're worried. Let Stevenson clean up the mess for once. Go. I'll be okay. Go. Okay, you can only hope to get through it, all right? Look, about inside, I'm sorry about before. Look, that doesn't matter right now. What's important is that this is happening, okay? And you need to survive. You need to stay as safe as possible. I gotta go get my kids. Bigger things to worry about than the toaster. Right. Okay, come on. Are you okay? Uh, All right. So what's going on out there? Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, flooding. We've never seen a super solo storm on this magnitude before. Okay, so what? What so what does that mean? Like, like the world's ending or something? No, it's a solar storm, and just like any other storm, it will pass. But it's just gonna do a lot of destruction in the meantime, all right? And a lot of people are in some great danger. My calculations say in about five hours a storm will break, but that's five hours we cannot stay exposed, all right? We've got to keep moving if we want a fighting chance. Yeah, okay, but what about Dad and Sarah? Well, we can't wait here. The house is way too unsafe, all right? And outside's not much better, but we've got to keep moving, all right? Listen, your father, he knows the plan, all right? And we're just gonna have to hope that he and Sarah are okay, all right? Now go get what you need quickly and get to the car. Now we've got to go. Where are we going right now? We're going to the Jensen's to see if your sister is still there. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, in here. Associated Press, Washington, D.C. The National Weather Service has issued an emergency bulletin regarding dangerous storm conditions building in the Gulf of Mexico. A wide stretch of the Gulf has been battered with downpours of rain and hurricane force winds. There was no warning of this storm before it began, but now scientists are reporting that the weather disruptions can be directly attributed to the ongoing superstorm occurring on the sun. Sarah! 
Where's Sarah? I don't know. Is she still inside? I don't know. Is she in the house? I don't know. Sarah! Kirby and we're gonna get to the caves. Are we gonna be okay? I hope so, honey. I hope so. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Run! Come on, baby. Now. Move. Move. Come on. Just get to the car, baby. Come on. Okay. Just get to the car. Right now, we have to get up and we have to go. No. Sarah, do you want to live? Yes. Okay, then we need to go. Okay. Okay. Get up. Get up. Okay. Get up. It looks like we're going to have to go in on foot. I don't think I can. Hey, I, look, I don't think we have a choice, okay? What's one thing fishers never do? We never give up. That's right, we never give up. We never give up. What are we supposed to do if something like that happens again? Hey, this is your dad you're talking about. All right, you remember the camping trip when we forgot the lighter for the fire? You remember that? And how I still made the fire work with the sticks, even though you doubted it would happen. This is just like that. Look, hey, we just need to be resourceful and clever, and we'll make it. You promise? I promise. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? I'm making a message. For who? Your mom. I need her to know that we're okay. Ready? Come on. Let's go. The International Solar Observatory is now monitoring heavier solar activity, which could lead to a new CME eruption on the surface of the sun. Scientists confirm that the flare will likely affect the Earth in a matter of hours, leading to more, if not increased, environmental and atmospheric disturbances. How long do you think until that starts? I'm gonna guess an hour, maybe less. The frequency between the thunder and the ground quakes means that the coronal mass ejections on the sun, they're intensifying. So, so what does that mean? Flooding? More earthquakes? Yeah. Which is exactly why we need to get to the safety of the caves as soon as possible. Mom? Do you think we'll even make it? Kirby. Look, I know that this is a lot to take in right now. But we're together, okay? And as long as I'm here, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Do you understand me? Even if I have to fight Mother Nature herself. I'll punch her in her face. Thanks, Ma. Sit, Rip. Sir. 
Why are we with containment and evac? Uh, we're barely making a dent, sir. The waves on the tsunami are down, but the water keeps surging in. It's like high tide, but it won't stop. And what kind of damage is that causing? Uh, it's hard to say, sir. Uh, the water's channeling into urban areas, so All right. it's bad. Just keep cleaning the area as best as you can. Radio's still on the blink, so we have to go with emergency protocol. Assign a soldier from each unit to serve as a messenger go-between and initiate evac plans. Keep channeling the civilians out of the metropolitan areas. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, we've also initiated the base's backup generators to multiple lines in accordance with the unit's blackout protocol so we can monitor any activity on live wires. Very good. Sir? Yes, Diaz. Is it true there are volcanoes erupting around the city? <sighs> One thing at a time, Diaz. One thing at a time. Let's go. Are we clear of the danger? Oh, whether we are or we aren't, we keep pushing ahead. We don't have any other choice. Why is this happening? I don't know, sweetheart. Uh, science is your mom and Kirby's department. Near as I can tell, it's it has something to do with storms on the sun disrupting our atmosphere or something like that. It's, it's making the weather go crazy. Is it permanent? Nah. Nah, sweetie, storms subside. We just gotta get through it. Shouldn't we have waited for Mom and Kirby? No. No, kid, it would have been smart to say put. The only way to keep in front of this thing is to keep moving through the woods. Okay? I will reconnect with them on the outskirts, on the other side of the city. The caves are just beyond that. Okay? Dad? Hold on, Sarah. I'm trying to figure out which way we're gonna... Dad! What? Handling right past us. So you can thank the gradient of the land for that. So you're saying we we made it because of luck? Well, luck certainly had something to do with it. And so did the first thing they taught us in the military about being out in the field. Know your terrain. I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry? This morning. Even in the face of potential danger, you and Mom had it together. You made a plan. Even Kirby, with all this science-y stuff, was able to be a part of the conversation. And I froze up and was scared. I know you both covered to make me feel better. I could learn a lot about bravery from all of you. Sarah. So where to now? Well, we're supposed to go that way, but it looks like we're going to have to get creative. That's the Jensen's. It's so quiet here. Wait, is that, is that Dad's car? Wait, wait, Kirby? Kirby! Where are they? What is it? <laughs> All right, it's your father. God, I love that man. Mom? Just tell me you heard that. Yeah, yeah, I did. Unbelievable. Okay. 
famous in Los Angeles. My father's already headed to the caves. And I trust that he's gonna do everything he can to keep Sarah safe. Now we need to do everything we can to do the same. Okay? What do you mean? Sarah's in good hands with your dad, and you're with me, and there's gonna be a lot of people out there that aren't gonna be so lucky. We need to help as many of them evacuate as possible. And we can't do it alone. Come on. Do you think there's a way around it up ahead somewhere? Uh, there's no telling. I mean, it's possible, but there's no telling how long it takes to get there. Or... Look, every minute we're outside, we're exposed to danger. We just can't risk it. We can't swim over it. Hey, you're right. We gotta get across, but we ain't swimming. So how? I got an idea. But I don't think you're gonna like it. Great. So, where are we going? Well, like I said earlier, your father is going to do everything he can to keep your sister safe. He's a soldier. He's equipped to do that. We're not. Right. Okay, so we need soldiers of our own. If we can make it to the military base, connect with your father's old unit, it can not only help us evacuate, but help other people too. We just need to be able to tell them where to go, and we need to do it fast, because the worst of the storms just started. Wait, Mom, stop the car. Oh, thank God. We need help. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure about this. We just gotta climb, sweetheart. Okay, we get to the other side, we clear the floodwaters. I don't think I can. I'm scared. I'm scared too. But if we want to see Mom and Kirby again, we gotta face that fear. Okay? Look, I'm gonna be right behind you the whole time. I'm not gonna let you fall. Promise? Promise. All right, let's do this. My girl. Grab that. My sister and her husband and me, we were trying to get out of the neighborhood somewhere safe. We almost got crushed to death, and now she's trapped. Okay. I've been trying to get her out. It's too much. It's too heavy. No, no, you don't need to explain. Mom? Hi. We're gonna help you out of here, okay? How bad is it? Well, it's hard to tell, okay? We're just gonna have to get some of this stuff off of you first. Okay? Um, oh, gosh, this... It's really heavy, huh? Wait. You and help. Wait, I got... I got tools. In the car. Okay, good idea, good idea. Okay. Let's get this. All right. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. Maybe get some of this off. All right. to work. We okay. we need leverage. Um uh, Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
All right. Uh, everybody on this is gonna. Live. On three, all right? Ready? One, One two, two, three. Three. Okay. Oh. All right. Kirby, Kirby, help me get this real quick. Yeah. That bad, huh? Okay, okay, put your hand. Put some pressure there, okay? Okay. Okay. Give me a first hand. I'm afraid if we move her now, she's gonna bleed out in a matter of minutes. She's lost so much blood. I don't even know how she's conscious right now. What are we gonna do? I don't know. We gotta get her out of here. Bob! Feet, okay? Trying to help. I don't. I don't. You don't have to say anything. I think that you and Vera should come with us. You guys go without me. I don't want to leave her here. Not in this place. Walter Gibbs, that's nonsense, and you know it. My sister didn't die so you could die. Marcia wanted you to live. You want to do something for her? You do this. I can't argue with that. Okay, where are we headed? There's a military base just a few miles from here. My husband's old unit is there. I think they can help us evacuate to this military bunker up in the northern caves just outside the city. I think we'll be safe there. Are you sure these caves could protect us? Yes. Hey, my mom was the only one that knew this was gonna happen, okay? She tried to warn everyone, but no one listened. She's trying to protect us. No, no, no. The boy's right. At least you're offering up a solution. It's better than the alternative. Lead the way. Let's get in the car. Did you do a lot of this survival stuff in the military? Yeah. They prepared us for a lot, but this is a pretty unique circumstance. 
Look. Phone lines. I have an idea. Let's go. Come on. Take a sneak peek. See if the ground is stable. Okay. Dad? How's it look? Is it safe? Let's go this way. Are you sure? That, that seems faster. Trust me. Baby, don't look. If you could have... Any meal right now, what would it be? Uh, you're thinking about food? <laughs> I guess surviving the end of the world works up a bit of an appetite. <laughs> what would you pick? Me? Burrito, I guess. A burrito? Why a burrito? <laughs> so I could uh, keep walking while I eat. And I really love guacamole. Ew. <laughs> How about you? Cake. Cake? Cake's not a meal. I, I almost died of smoke inhalation, got blown up, and drowned in a flood. I want cake. <laughs> cake it is. Got wisdom beyond your years, kiddo. So you're a scientist? Yeah. And your husband's in the military? He was. He's retired now. Army man, huh? Brains, Mary's brawn. That's sexy. I've always been fond of the military type. My grandmother served as a switchboard operator in World War II. When I was growing up, she would take me to the historical society gatherings where her cronies would uh, play cards and reminisce. Yeah? Yeah. She told me a lot of sad stories, but also a lot of camaraderie. It was inspiring. Told me all about the old switchboards. I was fascinated. Soaked it up like a sponge. <laughs> I bet you really appreciated all your interest. Ah! Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it didn't seem to be broken. How can you tell? Well, if I remember my biology text correctly, there'd be a lot more inflammation. Let me fashion a splint out of some of my tools. Got a good boy there. Yeah, we're pretty proud of him. When he's not taking apart our television or setting the wallpaper on fire with a Bunsen burner. <laughs> well, the nice thing about racing circumstances is who's gonna know otherwise? See, you're only one? No. No, I have a daughter, too. We were supposed to meet when everything started. How? How are you so calm? What do you mean? We have no means of communication. We have no idea when the next explosion's coming or if the ground is gonna eat us up. Make no mistake. I'm terrified. What can I do? The only certainty I have to hold on to is hope. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. For him and for me. What's going on now? Hard to believe that the sun is causing all this, huh? Earthman, 
magnetic field is resisting the solar radiation from the coronal ejections. Basically, the atmosphere is going haywire right now. What does that mean for us? That means brace yourself. We'll be at the base in five minutes. I sure hope so, kiddo. I really, truly do. Me too. Look, your mom is tough, all right? Look, she's not a quitter. She's not gonna give up, all right? We have to imagine wherever she's at right now, she's charging ahead. It's just who she is. Now look, I might be the soldier in the family, but that woman, she's a warrior. Yeah. Yeah. So if mom's not gonna give up, we can't either. Okay? Okay? Okay. All right, come here. and geophysical destruction. Group attention. At ease, gentlemen. I must confess, it's an unexpected but welcome surprise to see you, Meredith. Did you connect with Sullivan earlier? So did you talk to him? I did. We spoke just before communications went down. Did he tell you that he was coming here? No, no. Hopefully he and Sarah are someplace safe. It was my decision to come here. Why did you want to come here? Storms. 
I know what's causing them, and while there is nothing we can do about what's going on out there, I think I know a place where we can go, where we can potentially make it through. Right? There wasn't any way anyone could have predicted the severity of these storms. They are far more devastating than I could have ever imagined. It's pretty severe, and as far as we can tell, this entire thing has gone. Global. Yes. Yeah, this is going to be the largest solar superstorm ever recorded. But the size of the storm doesn't matter. Essentially, it's just a storm, OK? And storms pass. All right, all we have to do is make it to the other side. And I think I have the perfect shelter for us. We need to migrate as many people as possible to the abandoned military bunkers in the northern caves. And with any luck, Sullivan and Sarah are already there. So what is this place? Good question. your head. Woozy. A little disjointed. Are you, you okay? I don't mean to interrupt. What's going on? We're looking at some maps trying to find a potential route up north. We could use some insight. Absolutely. What do you got? Private car. So the idea is for us to find a route that's least likely to be infringed upon by the natural disasters. As you know, given the circumstances, least likely is still pretty damn deadly. OK, um, well, the topography through here still lends itself to flooding, water or lava alike. So I think you're going to have to cut this way. Huh. You certain? Well, as certain as I can be in this situation, which isn't very. Honestly, the bunker idea? I was inspired. Quite frankly, I'm a little bit ashamed that I didn't think about that myself. But can we be certain that the caves will give us the protection that we need? Well, the caves have survived a millennia of Earth's inclement weather, and they're naturally forged out of stone, and they're at a high enough elevation that they're unaffected by the flooding, and once you're inside, you're protected from the lightning, and that combined with the security of a bunker, honestly, I really think it's the only chance we've got. It's just uh, getting there that's the problem. So this is the place you were looking for? And what are you doing? Looking for an unbroken line. If this is a phone company, why don't we just call someone? Most of the standard telephone lines are getting solar interference. But if I can find an unbroken line, I might be able to send a telegraph. Telegraph? Yeah, long ago, before the days of cell phones and apps, people used to use something called telegraphs to communicate over great distances. I know what that is, Dad. It's the thing with the wires, the codes. That's right. Morse code. Dots and dashes that stood for different letters. That's right. Seems complicated, though. Actually, it's... Okay, it is. Telegraphs don't require the use of PSTN signals, which is what the solar flares are interrupting. And there's an emergency backup protocol that some military units use when the comms go out. They have the generator hooked up to live wires in the event that someone happens to try to communicate the old fashioned way. All right, I'm gonna try to send a message and hope that someone thought or remembered to do that. Hopefully, they'll come and get us. You 
think this will work? <sighs> we had no other choice. You heard it out there. No way we're gonna get to the caves through that on our own. This is our chance to call for help. I have to take it. Do you think someone's listening? There's only one way to find out. We have clicks on the comms. Sergeant, there is no time. Clear your station. We gotta go now. Sir, it's a pattern. Pattern? Sounds like Morse code. Here, move. It's Fisher. What? But the message is coming in too wild and fast. I... Does anyone... Allow me, Commander. Switchboards, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. It's your husband, all right. He's at an old phone office near the woods on the city's outskirts. Okay, great. Well, we know where he is, and now we can go save him, right? Okay. Mom? Is it working? I don't know, Sarah. I I don't know. Dad? Dad? Daddy, get up. Get up, Dad. Dad, come on. Get up. Come on, Daddy. Daddy, you're fine. Get up, come on. Okay. Come on, Dad, you're fine. Come on, Dad. Come on, wake up. Come on, Dad, you're fine. Go with us. You have to evacuate, okay? Sullivan's out there, and we know he's alive, so I've got to go get him. Look, I understand. I do. But the entire world is literally falling down around us. What can one person do against all of this? Well, I gotta try, right? I'm sorry. I gotta get my men to safety. Come with us, I please. Understand. No, no. You know I can't do that. Look, you know how I feel about you, Meredith. Oh, God. How I've always felt about you. Look, we don't have very much time. Let me finish. You're a remarkable woman, Meredith. And I'm sorry, it's hard for a soldier to admit when he's lost the battle. Sullivan is a great officer. 
And he's a good man. And he's lucky to have you. You guys are lucky to have each other. I'm just sorry that I let my own jealousy come in the way of our friendship. For all of us. Cook. Listen, there's a truck on the back lot. They say it's out of commission, but you're more than welcome to give it a try. Okay. I just wish you were coming with us. I can't. Okay? Good luck. Good luck. It's really bad out there. We have to assume no one hurt us. So, we're alone? No. No, 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 no. We have each other. together, all right? We started this, we're gonna finish it. Kirby. I'm sorry, but the truck, it won't turn over. Oh, well, that's exactly why I stay. Do you know how to fix trucks? No? Oh, jeez. I don't know the first thing about trucks. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh my, this is great, Kirby. Oh. But I know a lot about those. Mom, come on. No. Get out, Kirby, let's no. go. Come on, Mom. Yes. No, Kirby, this is not one of your video games. I told you it's not a video game. <sighs> Just get in and trust me, please. on and don't touch anything. Get up. 
Just a little further, okay? Come on, we get to the edge of the city, we clear these fallen buildings. Right now, look, I know it's a long shot. I know it, but the trees, the trees leading up to the cave, that's your only chance of coverage, okay? Okay? Come on. Come on. I can't. Oh. <coughs> it hurts. I breathe in too much smoke. Honey, I need you to go just a little bit longer, okay? Just a little further. We just gotta get clear of the city. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to buy us a little more time. Time until what? I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> Close your eyes. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Just close your eyes, baby. Why well, can't get down there? The lava! <laughs> 
Where's the velocity of the helicopter? <laughs> Faith in science. NASA scientists at the Solar Dynamics Observatory confirm that the solar storm is waning, showing signs that it will subside. Atmosphere conditions are expected to return to normal, and authorities confirm that the electrical and communications infrastructure should be restored within a matter of months. Is it over? For now, yeah. So what do we do now? Start over, I guess.